الحمد لله وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد رسول الله وآله وصحبه ومن والاه وبعد and welcome to a great scholar who became an icon and associated all the time with the science of seerah or the life of the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم الحافظ the great حافظ and the great scholar and when we talk about a حافظ it means someone who has memorized a hundred thousand hadiths الحافظ محمد ابن محمد ابن محمد ابن أحمد اليعمري ابن سيد الناس الإمام أبو الفتح محمد ابن محمد ابن محمد ابن أحمد اليعمري ابن سيد الناس was born in Egypt in 700 in 671 in 671 and he died رحمه الله تعالى in 734 in Egypt as well his father was a great scholar Originally from uh, the city of Ishbiliya, which is in Al-Andalus, the well-known Al-Andalus. And he traveled to Egypt and he attended the gatherings of great scholars. And as a young man, Imam Ibn Sayyid al-Nas was carried by his father at the age of four to the gatherings of scholars. And he was carried by scholars and he was looked after by scholars. Someone who grows up in such an environment of scholarship, connection with great people, should grow up as a great man. Al-Hafiz al-Dhahabi rahimahullah ta'ala says, وَمَشَّخَتُهُ يَزِيدُونَ عَلَى الْأَلْفِ That his shuyukh are more than a thousand, or close to a thousand. Imam Ibn Sayyid al-Nas rahimahullah ta'ala was known for his good character, was known for his great excellent manners, and he was known to be a person of light-heartedness he used to joke sometimes with his students and with other people and at the same time as they describe him he was a, a, an, a, an, authentic, a, an authentic person in what he communicates he was an authority in what he communicates and he had a very deep expertise in the science of hadith rahimahullah ta'ala and as imam al-barazali says كان أحد الأعيان إتقانا وحفظا للحديث. He was unique and he was very distinguished for his perfection and his memorization of hadith. Yet he had also excellent poetry. He had amazing prose and he used to be a great lover of the students of hadith. One of the good qualities of Imam uh, Ibn Sayyid al-Nas rahimahullah ta'ala is that he used to lend his books to his students and he was actually generous, very very generous in that in that in that uh, sense and he lived his life writing about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he wrote all sorts of writings about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam short sirahs like nurul ayun fi sirat al amin al ma'mun which is a short uh, uh, account of the life of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and a bigger one called ayun al athar which is quite a lengthy uh, uh, writing a lengthy work on the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He also has written poetry in the seerah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Uh, one of his books is called Bushar Al-Kaib Bidhikr Al-Habib Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which is a volume on the poetry of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One of the unique things of Imam uh, Ibn Sayyid al-Nas as well is his diligence in ibadah. And this is a, a very important thing that when you Seek knowledge, brothers and sisters. When you try to seek knowledge, brothers and sisters, make sure that your knowledge is accompanied by two important things. One is good ibadah, and two is good character. Imam Ibn Sayyid al-Nas, as Imam al-Safadi mentions, he said, I have stayed with him for some time, and I saw him praying the one prayer, Dhuhr for instance, for more than one time. So I asked him, what are you doing? He said, I tried to, I, I, I said, I'm going to pray any salah, in the fard twice and then it became easy so i did it three times it became easy so i did it four times so it became easy and then as safari says i doubt that he might even have said to me five times so he prays each prayer five times that shows how diligent he was in ibadah and how diligent he was in serving people 
one of the aspects of, of inheriting the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is to serve the ummah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to follow these great scholars who were all connected to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.